to the gods, Baal, the god of human hands. You know, they, if you don't worship the one, you're going to end up worshiping the others because we were born to worship. God made us to worship him. So if you don't worship God, you're going to worship the gods. If you don't serve God, you're going to serve something else. So man, that's the way it is. If we don't, we will always end up worshiping something. So Israel exchanged its gods. It exchanged it. How? It stopped rejoicing in God. It stopped delighting. It stopped dwelling in Him. Stopped being in His Word. Stopped pondering His goodness. Stopped loving Him. And it lost its first love. But it never stays like that. It doesn't stay that way for long. It, doesn't, it never stays with no God. Because man is made to worship God. So it never stays without a God. For, it never stays neutral. There's no neutral ground. So what happened is when, that, when God what came out, went out of their hearts and then out of their lives, what happened? Baal came in. Asherah came in. Moloch came in. Dagon came in. They all came in. You know, the 20th century is known as the century of secularism. Well, that means, you know, basically, no God. Communism declared religion the opiate, the drug of the masses, declaring no God. Nazism, in effect, declared the God of the Bible is dead. But notice what happens to all these things. When man rules God out of his life, it never stays that way for long. The gods come in. In the Third Reich, led by Adolf Hitler, disciple of Friedrich Nietzsche, whose most famous expression are three words, God is dead. By the way, you know, he ended up, he ended up going crazy, the man who said God is dead. So Hitler ruled God, the God of the Bible, out of German life. And what happened? What happened wasn't neutrality. What happened was other gods came in. He revived the gods of the ancient Germans, the pagan gods. In effect, he made himself a god. He called on the nation to worship him, to adore him, to lift their hands to him. He made them sing songs to him and offer sacrifices to him. And ultimately, he offered up the sacrifice of the Jewish people. The word, as we shared, well, I've shared once, or more, the, the word, the, there's a word in Greek which means the burnt offering. It's, it's a translation in the Bible. The word is holocaust. It's in the Bible. It's in the Greek translation. Communism, the other major godless ideology, declared no God, no religion, nothing beyond this world. So what happened? What happened was that ruling God out, the state became God. The Communist Party became God. The leader became God. The doctrines became God, became its gospel. What happened? The leader became as God. All over the land, images went up all over of Joseph Stalin. You know, once the, you know, in, in that culture, they used to have images of the saints. This is the Russian Orthodox Church. Instead, they exchanged it for Joseph Stalin and the communist leaders. All across the land, idols went up. The people were, in effect, worshiping their idols, singing songs of praise to him, receiving the words of the leader as if it was coming from God. And anybody who came against them would be judged, would be sent to destruction, and causing the sacrifice of millions of people in Russia, millions of people in China under Mao, the same thing. This is the, this is the, this is the evidence of the gods. You know, you had, you had Israel falling, First they worship God, then they become apathetic. Then they become spiritually confused. And then what they started doing is they started merging Baal with Jehovah. They started actually confusing it and merging it together. They started be, their, their faith started becoming, instead of spiritual, became materialistic, carnal. Then they started turning against, outright against the ways of God. They started calling wrong right and right wrong. They started in, indulging, they started promoting sexual immorality, they started lifting up their children as sacrifices, and then they started persecuting the people who held true to God. America, late 20th century, early 21st century, what has it been doing? It has been removing God from its life, from its national life, from its public square, from it, increasingly from its culture. It removed prayer from its school system. Remove the Bible from its children. The Ten Commandments, it stripped down from the walls. And what happened? It didn't stay neutral. It didn't stay a vacuum, doesn't remain. What happened is what happened to ancient Israel. What happened is that as it ruled out God, new gods came into America. For new foreign gods came in. The gods of materialism started getting stronger in the culture. The worship of things 
the worship of sexuality started coming in all over, saturating the culture. Sexual sin, the worship of the self, the worship of pleasure. Just as it happened to ancient Israel, <clears throat> the gods came in. They started wearing disguises, but they came in. And as the Spirit of God was driven out increasingly from mainstream culture, the Spirit of the gods came in. They took down the Ten Commandments. Why? Because what was coming in was going to go against it. They, you take down the Ten Commandments, and you have the spirit of adultery coming into the culture. You have the spirit of greed and coveting, the spirit of lust, the spirit of slander, the spirit of materialism, blasphemy, perversity, the spirit of self, all these things. In school, the Bible was driven out. It didn't stay neutral. Other spirits came in. Other gods came in to the point where children were increasingly indoctrinated into sexual immorality, into perversity. Driving God out has not led to tolerance. It's led to a new intolerance. Because, why is that? You know, because, you know, it's amazing what's happening in the culture. Do you know, just in the last month, I mean, you know, there were several, there are several cases of people who were driven out of their employment just because they believed what the Bible said. That's where we're going. Why do you have, you see, really there were no gods, it was, it was just a neutral thing. You would, you would have neutrality. You don't have neutrality. You don't have tolerance. You have a new intolerance because there are gods involved. And so the spirit of Baal didn't lead to tolerance. It only, for a little, only for a little while, you know, when, when it's in transition, they say, well, be open to the new morality. That's only when it's a tolerance. It's only tolerance to get the other things in. But once it's in, it doesn't stay tolerant because the point is to drive everything out. Jezebel and Ahab hunted down the prophets of God. And that's what you're watching in America. A, a spirit that says you can, even if, simply if you uphold that, which we all upheld just a few years ago, we're going to persecute you. And you're not even going to be able to express that, the, what the Word of God says. It is ultimately a matter of, it's a war of gods. And it's not only nations that fall away.